over for another lesson. Marty, thank you for having me as always. I'm very excited. Today, we are going to talk about what do you do to book your first gig. I have been playing shows ever since I was 10 years old and I started out being my own everything really because that's what you do when you start out. You're your own agent, you're your own manager, you're your own record label, you're your own everything. Let's talk today about what really goes into booking that first show. The first thing is the music industry is a lot about who you know. Friends of friends and friends recommending you and even if friends know some some venue bookers or some talent bookers or buyers that they're like, you know what, you should check out so-and-so's music, it's really good. Step one, I always just feel like this is a general rule to life, but be kind, be kind to everybody you meet. Be able to give that lasting impression when you meet people so that they'll remember you and be like, oh yeah, they're pretty cool. And then they'll wanna hire you to actually book you in their venue. So that's the first step actually, is be nice to everybody you meet. The second thing I think is really important is having a recording of your music. I know it sounds obvious, but it's really hard to book a gig if somebody can't hear what you do. And better, even better than hearing is being able to hear and see. If you have some way of recording a few of your songs, even if that's recording in your home studio, I mean, there's so much you can do with apps and laptops and you know in in your own bedroom that's how i started out too that's how i booked my first few gigs is just by recording things into GarageBand and hoping that they sounded half decent so there's so many ways that you can just record something but i think it's really important for you to have some sort of music for you to send some a link so to speak and then if you can have any footage of you playing whether that's playing in a coffee shop even potentially playing in your living room, but I always think if you can have a video of you actually playing somewhere, it's always a better representation. I think that just adds. So whether you can throw that little video up on YouTube and have that YouTube link of you playing, it's just more resources for you to send somebody. Essentially, it used to be called an EPK, an electronic press kit. And now I don't even know if that term is really used anymore, but basically you just want somebody to be able to really see your face hear what you do and be able to put it all together to be like, oh yeah, I should probably, I should probably book them for a show. Once you have all of the materials together, so that's music, hopefully a video, and you probably want a picture, a half decent looking picture. Again, you can do so much with your own phone and apps these days that you don't even need to necessarily get a professional photo shoot together, but just have like a good looking professional picture that shows you and your artistry in all of your best light. And then I'd say start looking at places in your town or city that you'd want to play, that book a lot of up and coming and new artists. You know, as much as we all want to go play Madison Square Garden, we know that we're probably not going to be able to play that tomorrow. So we might need to start at our local coffee shop that let a bunch of new artists play. And so when I was starting to book my first few shows, I'd bring my parents with me everywhere because I was 10 years old at the time. And so I would go to open mics at, at coffee shops and I would go check out their shows. I would meet, ask to meet the manager. I would ask if the manager was the one booking talent. I was a very uh, proactive 10 year old. And, um, and, and then I would just meet people, get people's emails, get people's phone numbers. I also performed a lot in my church growing up and through that I was able to meet a lot of people who are putting together like charities and, and all of those things are great ways to just get you playing. You really just want to get playing in any scenario. You know, I wouldn't worry about the money. I wouldn't worry necessarily about asking for a fee to start because you really just want to get out there, get playing and the money part will come, trust me. You really just want to build up your resume so that you can start to have even cooler live videos that you can post on YouTube and be like, hey, look at this show we did and then work your way up from coffee shops to maybe the local bar that books bands to maybe there's like a, a venue that, that has, you know, 200 to 500 capacity that they, they book local bands and up and coming artists. And so again, I would go to the venues that you think would book new artists, meet the staff or ask if you can get the contact info of the staff. And then I would just shoot them a note. As crazy as it sounds, the best thing that you can do is just be you and ask. I don't think anything is wrong with asking. The worst that somebody can say to you is, 
no, we're not really booking any new artists at this time. That's the worst they can say is no. And so the best thing you can do is just ask and put yourself out there. And as long as you have really good music recorded and maybe even a video to showcase, you totally will get some opportunities. You just gotta keep going at it. I will also say that something that has helped me since, you know, when I first started playing, social media wasn't even as, as a thing as it is now, obviously. It was like back in the MySpace days. But now, like you can do so much on YouTube and TikTok to really showcase what you can do. Definitely you can send those links to people or even reach out to venues on their social media is a great way to reach out to people and see if they'd want to inquire to book you. You know, I didn't have my first agent until years into my career. I was booking my own shows for a long, long time. I remember there's this festival in my hometown called the Calgary Stampede and it's 10 days long. I played the Stampede ever since I was a little girl, but there was one year that I was really going after it and I booked myself 68 shows in 10 days, 68 shows. So I was playing at all hours of the day. I was playing at breakfasts, lunches, dinners, club shows at night. So really whatever you wanna do, you just need to put your mind to it and your heart to it and you can accomplish it. These are just a few ideas to get you into the essence of booking your first gig. Really just go out there, put yourself out there and believe in what you can do and the artist who you are. And I know you are going to be able to book that gig. Thank you so much for hearing me out. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on my socials or hop on over to my YouTube and ask me whatever questions you want. Follow and subscribe to Marty Music as well as my own channel. And if you want to learn guitar from me, I wrote my own guitar course. So um, check out the links below. It's called Playing Well. We'll see you guys next week.